guys, it's Chloe. So today is Easter, it's Sunday, and we just got back in town from my eighth grade DC trip on Friday night. So we haven't had a lot of time for Easter festivities, but I thought it'd be super fun if we tried this little thing I saw on Pinterest, which is a cool whip Easter egg DIY. Okay, so now we have our eggs. I have just boiled them. Next, we're going to get some vinegar, and the DIY says to pour the vinegar over the top of the eggs so that it really absorbs the color in the long end. Okay, so now that we have our eggs all dried off, we're going to take the Cool Whip, we're gonna open it up, and we are going to spatula it into this little pan right here. But you know, first things first. I taste test things to make sure they're right. So now that we have our whipped cream all laid out, we are going to, I chose these three colors for my food coloring. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the food color and the directions say to drop the food color into the whipped cream about an inch apart, as many colors as you want. And then we're gonna swirl it with, it says use a toothpick. I don't even really know what this is, but we're gonna use it anyways. Okay, so now I'm gonna take whatever the heck this is, we're going to swirl. I'm really nervous for this part. <laughs> we're gonna swirl. <laughs> oh my god, anxiety kicking in. I don't want to mess this up. Oddly satisfying, yes or no? Okay, so it looks like I might need a little bit more color in certain spots. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add a few more drops. Okay. So everything is all nice and stirred up. Next, we are going to take the egg and kind of roll it in this part. Extremely nervous for it. So, oh my God. Such a pretty white egg. Yes. <laughs> I got in it, but I'm really happy. And 
And I want you guys to comment down below if you're going to try this craft or if you've already tried this craft and it's gone great or how your experience has been. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye.